Before Marilyn Monroe and Elizabeth Taylor, Ava Gardner was the undisputed queen of sizzle and complete potty mouth. Dubbed Hollywood's ultimate temptress, she ruled the roost, leaving a trail of smitten men like Howard Hughes, Mickey Rooney, Frank Sinatra, Ernest Hemingway and Clark Gable. They all tried, but she was a storm they couldn't tame. She brazenly labelled Aristotle Onassis a horny little f and threw shade at Marlon Brando's erectile woes. She didn't just stand her ground against Hollywood titans like Louis B. Mayer and Humphrey Bogart. She danced on it. And who else could say they got sloshed with Winston Churchill? Ava wasn't just fiery, she was explosive. 19 and still a virgin, Ava Gardner met Mickey Rooney on her first day in Hollywood. He was dressed in a Carmen Miranda costume for the movie Babes on Broadway with Judy Garland. A Rooney pursued Gardner hard and he got what he wanted. It seemed everyone in Hollywood knew Rooney's reputation as a ladies' man, except Gardner. Lana Turner eventually nicknamed him Mickey Hard On. Hello! From an interview in the book titled Ava Gardner The Secret Conversations, Gardner said this, I remember asking him one evening, shortly after we were married, what he thought of me that first time we met. We had a kind of truth game we used to play in bed. We'd spend a lot of time in the sack in the early days. A lot of time, talking, laughing, making love. I must have seemed so f***ing awkward, so f***ing gauche. Anyway, I asked him what went through his mind when he saw me on the set that day. He said, OK, when they said you were a new contract player, I figured you were a new piece of pussy for one of the executives. The prettiest ones were usually spoken for before they even stepped off the train. I didn't give a damn. I wanted to f*** you the moment I saw you. From the same interview. A week or so after we got back from our honeymoon, I woke up in the middle of the night with the most god-awful pain in my stomach. Mickey drove me to the Presbyterian Hospital. Like everybody in my family, I had a misplaced appendix. In those days, you stayed in hospital for three weeks after even a minor operation. So I came home, and the first night I found evidence that Mick had been screwing somebody in our bed. Gardner filed for divorce from Rooney soon after. However, she said it was for incompatibility. If she had used infidelity, both her and Rooney's career would have been over. Instead, she got a new contract and a raise with the studio. Rooney may not have fared well in modern Hollywood. Next up, we dish on Gardner and Sinatra. Over and out, 